What's up YouTube? It's Connor from Team Scrub and we're going to do a deck profile today on Tapu Koko from the new Guardians Rising set. So let's get right into it. We play four Tapu Koko GX, which is your main Pokemon of the deck. Now this is a, I think this is a really good GX in my opinion because you get to basically steal energies from your actives and you get to switch in Tapu Koko with the energies with its cool ability called Aero Trail. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may move any number of electric energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon, and if you do, make Tapu Koko your active. So you, so you basically try and turbo out your Koko with filling up your bench with energies with uh, basic energy, putting down cards like Max Elixir and random stuff like that, and Koko is basically the main power of the deck. And with Tapu Thunder, for two electric and one colorless, this is the GX attack. This attack does 50 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. It's a good GX attack in my opinion, but I personally don't use it that much. I don't know. I'll let you decide that. Uh, I play two Jolteon EX. Jolteon EX I really like because it's another basic, and its flash ray attack is really good because if I use flash ray, a I cannot get damage from any basic Pokemon attacks, so let's say a Tauros GX will attack me on this turn and try to kill my Jolteon. I basically take no damage from anything that entire turn. And Jolteon's good to power up with Tapu Koko, because I can power up this Koko on my, sorry, my Jolteon, and I can switch into Koko, and I can basically start attacking for pretty much nothing. Uh, I play this one Carbink from the Fates Collide set because of its ability mainly. It's called Energy Keeper. Basic energy attached to your basic Pokemon can't be discarded by the effects of your opponent's attacks, abilities, or trainer cards. So it denies Crushing Hammer, and Crushing Hammer and Enhanced Hammer, well mostly Crushing Hammer, is a really bad card for this deck. You need to keep your energies with this deck. So Carbink basically tells you no with that. And the basic... One Lele, one Shaman. Shaman, it's good for its ability. Lele is good for its ability. Uh, Lele, I'll explain. With its Wonder Tag ability, you get to add a supporter from your deck to your hand when you put it on the bench. And there's also Energy Drive, which is a good attack. I play for Max Elixir. Because I think Max Elixir is good in this deck, because I can speed up getting up energies on either my Jolteon on bench, or even if I have a Coco on bench from turn one, I can basically attach energies and I can start speeding up the deck and probably getting out another Coco to start winning easily. I play two max potions because damage is also a problem with this deck. I max potion, it lets me heal every damage counter off my Pokemon. I do have to discard my energies. It's good for having something on bench with no energy on it, because you don't lose your energies. And it's good to heal now and then. I play one Rescue Stretcher. Rescue Stretcher is a very good card from Guardians Rising. I can either grab a Pokemon from my discard pile, put it in my hand, or I can shuffle three Pokemon from my discard pile and put it back in my deck. So I can either recycle Lele, Shaman, I can either add those back to my hand, or I can either recycle Cocos or Jolteons. The choice is yours. I may bump that up to two, but I don't know yet. I've been testing it at one, and it's working out okay. The next card I play is four Rough Seas. Now, Rough Seas is a good stadium for this deck because I get to heal 30 damage off any electric type on my on my bench or my active, so I get to heal Coco and Jolteon every turn. It's bad when I ha when I'm playing up against like a Lapras deck or any electric or water deck because they also get the benefit from the healing. Uh, I'm taking in a Brock's Grit. Because I do like shuffling back energies and my basics. It's a good one of. It's a good supporter. Uh, Field Blower. This is a great card from Guardians Rising. I get to... This kills Garmador almost, if I can do it right. Uh, I get to get rid of their stadi either two stadium cards or two tools. Well, I mean, you can't get rid of two stadiums because you only have one. But it's good for getting rid of tools and maybe your opponent's stadium if you don't like that said stadium. I'm taking in one Professor's Lighter because I like seeing my energies quickly. Uh, Switch is a good card. I'm going to take one of 
those in. If I'm stuck with a Shaman or, yeah, if I'm stuck with a Shaman or a Coco with no energies on my field, I can just switch and get rid of them right away. So I'm not losing a prize or I'm not stuck with a no energy card. And then your basic four Ultra Ball, four Versus Seeker, and two Lissandres. I'm playing 4N because Sylveon is a deck right now, and its Magical Ribbon card is very deadly, so I can use N to shuffle back whatever they search. So, I'm also playing one Center Lady because I also like healing up Coco and Jolteon and whatever else I have on bench quickly. Uh, Kukui is a good card, I get to draw two, and I also get to do 20 more damage. For Professor Sycamore, it's basic. Basic discard your hand, draw seven. Uh, I put one Choice Band and three Fury Belts. Fury Belts is really good in this deck. I give my basics plus 40 HP, and I get to do 10 more damage. Choice Band, I get to do plus 30 damage if it's in, if it is a Pokemon EX or GX. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 electric energies. Your basic energies, and you need a lot for this deck. And that's the list. This th this list is in beta right now. I'm waiting on, I believe there's more cards coming out in the third set of Sun and Moon, which are really good for the deck, and I may swap out some stuff. So that's Tapu Coco, and that's my list. If you want to switch around cards, you go right ahead. I'm not saying copy the exact list, but it's, it's, it's testing well online and in real life. So I hope you like this deck profile, and don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you can see our videos first. This is Connor signing out.